In this episode, we're going to go from this, the chipped Matilda, to this, the weathered Matilda. Yeah, a lot to get through this time. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and in this episode we're going to be weathering the Matilda but before we get on to that we're going to start to paint some of those equipments. We're going to start with Iraqi sand and we're going to paint the wooden tools. I've already painted the metal parts in a dark grey now we're just painting the wooden part. Now we're going to take Vallejo golden brown unfortunately the camera just wouldn't focus but what we're going to do, we're going to take the golden brown and we're going to add the wood grain effect by hand. And all we're doing is stippling the brush to give it that effect. I mean, at this scale, once it's been covered by the varnish, which is basically going back to the Iraqi sand and heavily thinning it with tap water, it will tone down the effect. Now, once we've done that, we're then going to take diluted Iraqi sand and just go over the top. We're diluting it with water and it's just going to tone down that grain effect. And sorry about the focus here, but I was trying to get the camera to work and it's just going to tone it all down and give it a more realistic look. Next, we're then going to start the weathering proper. So I'm going to grab some white spirit and then I'm going to grab a selection of these oil brushes from MIG. It was just a collection there. And I'm going to start with Starship Filth and Dust. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the lower hole and I'm just going to add like an oil dot. And there's a reason for this. All I'm going to do is oil dot it then with a damp brush dipped in white spirit. And then I'm going to streak that effect. And I'm going to add a couple. I'm going to add Dark Brown, Dust and Starship Filth to really add up and blend those in. And you can see here, oh, it is, it's a damp brush. I'm just gonna blend it all in, stroking down all the time, up and down, to give it that streaking effect. It looks pretty intense at the moment, but it will be toned down eventually. And you've just gotta keep playing at it. You know, more damp, uh, more white spirit, just blend it all in, bring it all down, and you'll start to get a realistic dirty streaking effect which to be honest with you, you know, as you can see here you know just keep going over and over it more and more dampness added with white spirit and eventually it will turn into what you need it to be depending on how much filth and dirt and muck you want now i've been looking at real pictures of the matilda and it gets really dirty especially in the desert and especially around these areas I mean, the amount of oil and grease and everything that is thrown up is, is quite unbelievable. And there are some pictures on the internet that show totally filthy tanks. And, and it's not... In the desert, you're not getting the mud in the, in the rubbish like that that you would get in Europe or elsewhere. But you're just getting a lot of grime and a lot of dirt mixed in with a lot of dust. And that's the effect we're trying to replicate here. And don't forget, a lot of this will be covered by those side skirts and the side skirts themselves have sort of access holes and we're just going to continue to blend until we get the effect that we're actually looking for. To be honest, it's a pretty simple technique, pretty straightforward to do and doesn't actually take that long. And as you can see, it's just giving a grimy overall effect. I then take the Starship Filth and I'm going to go around the turret ring because it gets very greasy under the turret and I, again I'm just going to add it direct from the oil brusher and then I'm going to blend it in again with a damp brush just blending it in, toning it down with a bit of a, it's, it's, it's a damp brush, it's not caked in white spirit it's just very damp we're just going around and blending it all in to make it look like a grease line it's not oil, it's just grease and eventually it adds that realistic look Next we're going to take some fuel stains and okay, I'm going to add quite a few of these because at the moment there's no dust on the tank. So I'm going to add fuel stains, those are the initial fuel stains, then we'll put the dust and everything on the tank and then we'll put more fuel stains over the top of that. That will give the effect of like a double fuel stain. Next take some streaking grime, again from MIG, and it's going to be pretty much like what we did with the oils, just to get that grimy effect inside that lower running gear 
And again, you just plonk it on. These are enamels, use a little bit of white spirit and again, drag it up and down to get those streaking grimy effects. And this is what you should be sort of looking at. And again, it's gonna be, a lot of it is gonna be covered up by those side skirts. So you're not gonna see everything. Next, I'm gonna take some rust wash and I'm gonna add it to the metal parts of the tools. So all I'm doing here, it's a rust wash. Um, and then whilst it's still wet, I will add a light rust. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to film me putting the light rust on. And then after that, I'm gonna take a brush and we're just gonna take it all off as you do. Moving over to weathering proper. This is acrylic mud by MIG and I'm just gonna paste this on. Now the thing about acrylic mud is that it dries really quickly but it leaves a good effect. So you can only work in small areas. So I'm working in those teeny tiny areas, plonking the acrylic mud on, then I'm dipping it in tap water and basically washing it around and washing it off. It will then leave like a dusty residue and I always start at the bottom of the tank. And the reason for that is if, if it doesn't look good, no one's gonna see the underneath. Then I move on to the side areas and I'm very, I'm thinking about where's the mud gonna be thrown up. With tanks, it's normally thrown up at the rear rather than the front. You, so you're gonna have more of the dusty residue at the back of the tank. But looking at some photos, it does get caught up in those side skirts, which I haven't put on as of yet. So I'm gonna be very mindful of that and I keep testing where the side skirts are gonna go. And again, I'm just playing with the effect, adding more water, moving it around, manipulating it until I get the effect that I'm after. And the effect I'm after, in the desert, there's it's not caked in mud. So I'm just after that dusty residue, nothing more than that. And of course, don't forget the wheels and don't forget the tracks. And again, this is only part one. And, you know, we're gonna build on this. So it, it looks totally out of place at the moment. And it's it's pretty much you know how you want the weathering to look. Now, when the side skirt's on, that's what it looks like. As you can see, the side skirts are clean because we haven't weathered those yet. And we've got some of the residue of the acrylic paste stuck in the tracks where I want it. And I've got some lumps and clumps here, there, everywhere. Now I can go back to the fuel stains and add that on top of the dust, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Because over time, you know, you're gonna have fuel stains that are old, fuel stains that are medium age, and fuel stains that are new. That way we can build up the effect on, on the layers to make it look a little bit more realistic. And once we finish with the fuel stains, the tank is starting to look a little bit better. More dirt, that's what we like to see. Next, we're gonna move on to the real dirt stage. And I live in the desert, so I have a selection of sand. It's not Tunisian sand, but near as damn it. I'm gonna get my palette knife and I'm just gonna add it by hand. That's all I'm going to do. Simple stuff, really. And then once I've added it, I will then manipulate it with a paintbrush. Because the paintbrush allows us to push it into those crevices and those areas where the dust will really collect. Unfortunately, my camera work is not so great, so I'm gonna have to switch to the turret. It's the same technique on the hull, no different. Placing the real dirt on top of the areas and then manipulating it round with a brush. That's all we're doing. And then once we've done that, we're gonna take some sand and gravel fixer from MIG, which is really actually quite potent stuff. So you have to be really careful with it. And then we're just gonna dribble it on to those areas that have received this dirt just to fix it down. It's basically a glue and it, it operates a lot better than white glue. And that is all we are gonna be doing with the real dirt. It gives it a nice tonal effect. And once that's done, well, that's it for today's video. I mean, there's still a bit more weathering to do. We've still got to add some more dust to get it to the next stage. But this is the first, the sort of main stage of weathering. After this, we're going to go back. We're going to add some more dust. We're going to tone it down. But we should be looking at a tank at this stage. But this is by no means finished. We're going to go from that to this where it's slightly toned down a little bit more mainly because we've just had a little bit more dust but we still haven't finished all we've added now is the stowage and the figures 
anyway, I've been Fujit. That's not been the best video, I'm still getting to grips with this and my, my camera work is not the best, but it will get there. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully catch you all again next time when we'll be looking at, hopefully, figure painting. Bye for now.